Question 19. Well, we've got a quadratic expression here. This is greater than zero, so this is what we call a quadratic inequality. So there's a couple of methods we use. Well, there's one main method we use to solve quadratic inequality, and that is we're going to try and factorise it if possible. Okay, so we're going to try and factorise it uh, equal to zero. So we'll come back to inequality in a second. So we're going to do 2x there and then x there. I need to make minus 12 at the same time, multiplying to make minus 12, adding up to make minus 5. So I know that this one's going to be plus 3 and minus 4. So I get two solutions. Okay, and in a quadratic inequality, we call these the critical values. So that's minus 1.5 or minus 3 over 2. And the other critical value is x equals 4. So these are our critical critical values. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to use those critical values and the graph uh, and to find out uh, how that's going to help us solve this. So I'm going to try and draw a rough set of axes. Sorry for my lines aren't very straight. And I'm going to plot my critical values on my graph. So minus one and a half, let's say it's there. So that they call that minus three over two. And then four is there or something like that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my quadratic. And my quadratic is shaped something like that. It's not a very good quadratic, I know, but we'll cope with it. Why axis comes from here? Just out of interest, as an aside, we know that this value here looking at this minus 12, we know the y-intercept is minus 12. Well, we don't need that in this question. We just need the critical values here and here. I want to know where that this inequality is above 0, greater than 0. So you see the graph goes below the axis here. On these two points, the critical values is exactly on the axis. I want to know the parts, the x value, that's going to cause the graph to go up. So if I was plotting this, what x values would I need to get up to the uh, graph as opposed to in here between those critical values? I have to go down to get to the graph. I want the ones which are greater than zero where the graph is above the axis. So I know that therefore it's two separate inequalities. When x is greater than four, the graph is a above the axis, and uh, when x is less than minus 3 over 2, it's also above the axis. Okay? And that's it, I'm finished.